Stevie Fast Jackson. Uh, I don't know really what class you'd say I race in because I drive in just about everything. We run everything from outlaw radial to pro mod, blowers, nitrous, anything but queer turbos uh, you'll find us in. Anything, hopefully in fuel cars and everything soon. Uh, we're up here at Galesburg, Illinois. RJ Race Cars Quartermax. As y'all know, we kind of piled the shadow up. I, we did not pile the shadow up. I piled the shadow up in Valdosta. Uh, had the little flying accident. Didn't get my pilot's license. We're gonna try to keep it on the ground. So we were struggling finding a replacement car uh, in time. Uh, I don't know if you guys know how long it takes to get a car built, but it's about four to five months. Um, so we uh, called up Rick and Ricky, me and Phil did, and kind of got a deal together for this thing. And uh, they started on it last night at about 11 o'clock. And as you can see, about to make a lap in it. So I've been asked probably a thousand times since the crash, uh, were we like gonna quit racing and uh, were we ever gonna build anything else? And I just wanna let everybody know that as long as I still got 25 cents in my pocket to rub together, we're gonna race. Um, I've, me and Phil raced the Shadow for a long time. It's been a brand name and a trademark of ours. Uh, I got more runs in that thing than probably any car I've ever drove. I love it and I miss it. This is uh, car is gonna be named the Shadow also, Shadow 2.0. It's a, it's a hot rod. We're gonna, I don't know how fast it's gonna go, but it's just gonna go faster than all you rest of your radio cars. I don't know, faster as y'all go, we're gonna go faster. So it ought to be pretty good. Uh, you know, last minute trying to, I don't know if you guys have ever had a car built, but getting one done fast is, is hard. Uh, we looked around the country, called everybody that I know that may have a car for sale. And uh, a huge thanks goes out to Richard Freeman, Elite Motorsports. Um, this thing was a partial construction that he was having built and uh, he didn't need to sell it, and didn't want to sell it, and we got his arm twisted behind his back, and he really helped us uh, by selling it to us. It was gonna be a silly turbo car, so I feel like I saved uh, the wildlife or something. Uh, been a customer of Quartermax for a while. Top-notch facility, top-notch work. This thing has got some stuff in it that I haven't seen before, and uh, I'm excited about it. Uh, we're gonna run this thing in Radio vs. the World. The goal date uh, is to get it running before Ducks Race for PTC Radio versus the World in Valdosta in February. Going to go try to get that 100,000. Most importantly, we're going to go kick the crap out of Keith Haney, Dwayne Mills, and Keith Berry if he can qualify. Yeah, I don't know if Keith Haney's coming or not. I know he didn't make it to the last race. Uh, I hope he comes to the next race. I was going to have this thing fit where he could drive it, but we run out of titanium to make some pedal extensions. So I got Rick ordering some more titanium. We're going to get some pedal extensions about that long, and he can drive it if he wants to sit in a real hot rod and make a lap. You ever drive one of these things, you'll throw rocks at that silly nitro stuff. So it ought to be pretty good. I hope he shows up so I can take him out. I'm trying to clean my mouth up. I was going to say something else, but I hope he makes it so I can take him out. Uh, as far as looks, everybody keeps asking me, when we do build a car, what's it going to be? I'm just glad we got out of the raggedy Ford. This is a GM. We have American steel here. This is quality performance. So uh, we got us a Chevrolet, so it's probably going to be at least uh, 25 miles an hour faster. Uh, and as far as what it looks like, that's going to be a surprise. Well, Y'all will find out about a week before uh, Valdosta. I'm not going to say what we're going to do. I don't know if we're going to paint it, wrap it. I might paint it like a cow and sell it to Chick-fil-A. I don't know. I don't care about any of that. It's going to be fast, though. So. The progression of the drag radial class in the last three years blows my mind. I mean, you look at, you know, I think four or five years ago, I had the world record like a 430 or something, and like everybody was blown away. Then we go 19 and everybody's blown away. Well, then cars go into threes and everybody's like, when's it gonna stop, when's it gonna stop? Now we got the world record. I have it with our nitrous car with a 375. Uh, it's just crazy how fast it's moving. Sometimes it scares me. It's hard to stay out front of this stuff. You got a lot of talented guys with good equipment in this class, good drivers, and uh, it's one of the reasons it's one of the most fun and exciting classes for the fans as well as us drivers to run in. Um, if you asked me two years ago if cars ever would go 370s uh, on a street tire, I would be like, you're an idiot, but uh, they're doing it pretty regular now. But uh, it's crazy, like, you know, now everybody's kind of saying, will they run 60s, will they run 60s? Hell yeah, they'll run 60s. I'm not saying we will, but they will before they're done. We're gonna try to be the first one there too. Uh, I think we're the first in the 370s, I don't know. We've been the first in a lot of them, so we might as well try to go 360s too. If this thing don't run that, it won't be for, for lack of uh, chassis horsepower and will and determination. So everybody knows I'm fearless and I'll hold it to the floor. A lot of folks have come in since the crash uh, behind the scenes to push and put this deal together. Uh, people like Jeff Stangy at Strange Engineering who steered us to RJ uh, has put a lot of time, R&D, 
new stuff, new design. There's a lot of stuff coming out that's going to be on this car that folks haven't seen before. Uh, and it's awesome to work with somebody who has a passion for his company and his product like Jeff does. You know, it's there's a lot of people that are in the racing business to make money and then there's a lot of people that are in the business just because they like it and want to do it and want to make the best stuff available. And Jeff's definitely one of those guys. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to be teamed up with him and Strange, uh, you know, for this season. It's, it's going to be a good deal. All of the uh, Strange inventory is here in stock at Quartermax. Uh, it's pretty cool. They have a massive inventory of parts here. So if you need something, uh, you know, pick them up, give them call we got to support the people that support the racers so it's gonna be a good deal looking forward to it the restoration and rebuild reconstruction overhaul whatever you want to call it at a shadow wouldn't be possible without a bunch of companies um, some of our sponsors have been with us for a long time folks like Mickey Thompson uh, my oldest sponsor I've ever had Tommy Kundrick they were the first ones uh, they had a set of front and rear tires at our trailer before we got the car back after the crash um, people like Jeff Sitton with SEI Oilfield, Phil Schuler, Jeff Stangy at Strange Engineering, uh, Quartermax, RJ Race Cars, uh, Diamond Pistons Trend, RSG Performance, Bahrain One Racing, uh, and I know I'm leaving a pile of you guys out, but thank you for sticking behind us. A huge thanks goes out uh, to my partners, Jeff Sitton, SEI Oilfield, Phil Schuler. Uh, we have really kind of come together over the last several months. You know, it takes a Sometimes it takes some broken eggs to make an omelet. Uh, without these two guys, there'd be no way that we can get this car done in the time frame we're trying to get it done. Uh, we're kind of a new team coming out together, and you're going to see some exciting stuff coming out of our stable. So I'm excited that all of us are working together. Uh, all of us have the same passion and drive for motorsports. All of us uh, know what it takes to win, so when you get us three together, it's going to be pretty exciting.